Now let's see how good your memory is. We're going to look at those three atoms and see if we can choose which will have this ionization profile. Remember, when you ionize an electron, if you give excess photon energy, that'll go into kinetic energy of the ejected electron. So for which atom does this plot reflect the ionized kinetic energy versus photon energy of the light? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at arguments for each of the possible answers. A, hydrogen for transitions ending in 2, we saw those are in the ultraviolet region. So ultraviolet will ionize hydrogen in the 2p, and hydrogen in the 2p also has the highest ionization energy. For B, helium atoms absorb strongly in the ultraviolet, which is the threshold shown in the figure. Or C, excited lithium atoms are the easiest to ionize and they will eject electrons with the highest kinetic energy. Think about those three possibilities and make another selection. So we're testing your memory a little bit. You have to go back and say, when I talked about ionization energies, for hydrogen-like atoms, I said anything that ended in 2 would have ionization energies in the ultraviolet. You can have some transitions in the visible, but if you're going to ionize, that's going to be in the ultraviolet. And among these three, we said hydrogen will be the most difficult to ionize. They'll all behave exactly like hydrogen, because we saw that their effective nuclear charges are about 1. But the hydrogen itself has the electron most closely held to the nucleus in n equal 2, where helium is in n equal 3, and lithium is in n equal 4 for its outer electron. So an ultraviolet ionization is appropriate for hydrogen. For helium and lithium, they'll be less than that, we know. So they would come here at lower frequency thresholds than the ultraviolet. So this kind of plot is most appropriate for hydrogen in the 2p state.